Hello everyone, so today we're going to discuss another kind of differentiation rule, but this time it's the derivative of the exponential function. Are you ready? Then let's start. So we have here the derivative of e raised to x. If y equals e raised to x, then the derivative of e raised to x is equal to e raised to x. Ibig sabihin lang nun, kapag nag-derive tayo ng e raised to x, ang derivative din niya ay e raised to x. So, madali matandaan, di ba? So, the, ang sinasabi dito, the derivative of the exponential function, f of x is equal to e raised to x, is its own function. This can be combined with the chain rule. If u is a function of x, then the derivative of e raised, raised to u is equal to e raised to u du. Alright? So let's have an example for you to better understand this. Let's have an example. Differentiate y equals e raised to 4x plus 7. So again, um, we are going to use here our uh, u, no? yung ating du. No? Since itong 4x plus 7 ay isang buong function, so hindi siya e raised to x lang. Kaya we're going to use our u. And to identify our u, ito yun, no? So this is our u. And if that is our u, we have 4x plus 7. That means our du is equal to 4. Okay? Kapag hindi, pa, hindi nyo pa masyadong memorize yung ating, or familiar sa ating differentiation rule, lalo na sa ating basic differentiation rules, let's say for instance, yung, yung, differentiate, yung derivative ng x, derivative ng constant, so kailangan yung balikan yung ating basic um, differentiation rules. No? At pwede kayong, pwede yung balikan yung ibang mga videos. So meron naman tayong parts na, makikita. So, pwede yung balikan doon yung pinakaunang part na kung saan nintroduce ko yung UDU and DUDV. Okay? So, para hindi kayo malito. Pero kung alam niyo na to, so, let's proceed. So, again, our U is 4x plus 7. Ito yun yung kasi isang buong function siya. Our DU naman is equal to 4 since dinerive na po natin kasi ang X po ay equivalent sa 1, so 4. And then, ang 7 which is constant ay 0. Kaya 4 na lang talaga siya. Now, so, we're going to use our formula which says we, if we have d derivative of e raised to u, our derivative is e raised to u du. Okay? So, again, isulay kakapi lang natin dito pag mga formula or um, for, for instance, pag exponential function, kakapi natin yung e. And then, yung ating u, ano ang ating u? 4x plus 7. And yung ating du naman is 4. So, we'll just copy 4. Then, rewrite lang natin to kasi dapat ang constant po ay lagi nasa unahan ng ating function. So, we have 4e raised to 4x plus 7. So, this is our derivative. Now, let's have another example. This time, we have f of x equals e raised to, raised to 3x squared. So, again, makikita natin na 3x squared is a function. So, we can, so this is our u. Now, if that is our u, we have 3x squared. And our du is, the derivative of 3x squared is 3 times, that is 6. And then, copy natin yung x. Bawasan natin ng isa itong 2. So, 1 na lang. Kaya natin kailangan ilot yun. Now, abalik natin yung ating pong formula. It says that if we have the derivative of e raised to u, it is equal to e raised to u du. So, we have e and our u is 3x squared. du is 6x. So, we will just rearrange this. We have 6x e raised to 3x squared. So, that's it. That's our derivative. 
let's have now f of x equals e squared cosine 3x. Alright. So as you can see, ang ating buong function ay pwede natin sabihin na ang ating u dito ay itong 2 cosine 3x. Okay? And syempre, pag dinerive natin to, um, since this is a trigonometric function, meron din itong formula, no? Na kailangan sa lado nyo for now. Or as of now, dapat alam nyo na yun. Uh, pero kung hindi pa, so, ang formula for the derivative of cosine is actually yung derivative ng ating cosine u is equal to negative sine u du. Okay? So, this is the formula for our cosine. And since we're going, we need to find the derivative of cosine 3x, so, kailangan natin i-apply ito. Again, uh, in terms of our constant naman, hindi natin pinapakilaman yan. So, we will just copy it and proceed tayo dun sa pagkuha ng ating pong derivative ng cosine 3x. So, gamit ang formula na to, we will just use this yung negative sign yung du and, and i ano lang natin na ang u natin dito kung titignan po ninyo okay so kung mapapansin nyo po ito pong atin pong 3x is our u no another u kung iisipin natin so itintutukoy ng ating sign yung du Okay? So, kung para hindi kayo malito, gawin na natin siyang V. Okay? So, ito palitan natin, gawin natin V. Ito, V, and instead na instead na cosine nyo, gawin na natin na derivative of cosine V is equal to negative sine V dV. So, okay lang po yun. Wala pa problema. Basta ang mahalaga yung formula po natin ay nandyan. Pinagitan lang naman natin yung ating um, function. No? Instead na yung ginamit natin, ginawa natin V. Kasi ginamit na po natin yung U dito. So, para hindi lang kayo malito. So, now, since ang ating V is equal to 3x, ang atin namang dV is equal to, syempre, ang derivative nitong 3x is 3 na lang. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin doon? So, using this, we can uh, use this formula. So, we have negative sign. So, anong V natin? That is 3x. And our dV is 3. So, we will just rewrite this kasi laging nasa unahan yung ating constant dapat. And sign 3x. So, this is our derivative ng ating pong cosine 3x. Alright? So, this is the derivative of our cosine 3x. So, pwede natin siyang ilagay dito. So, we have 2 times negative 3 sine 3x. And then, we will just um, Multiply yung 2 and negative 3 kasi para sa lang constant. So, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 sine 3x. So, this is our formula. Uh, this is our derivative, I mean. 